An arrow is projected by a bow vertically up with a velocity of 40 meters per second, and it reaches a target in three seconds. What is the velocity of the arrow just before it hits the target, and how high is the target located? Now, to start off with the problem, you always want to write down your equations. Writing them down really shows what options you have, and you can choose from those options as the problem goes on. Having everything in front of you is very important, because then you get to organize your thoughts. Also, drawing a diagram for um, problems where you can draw a diagram is very important because then you can visualize what's actually going on in the problem. And showing which way the, um, the acceleration is going is very important too because sometimes the acceleration is going against the way the object is moving. For example, in this problem, velocity is going up while acceleration is going down. Also, writing down all of your variables or what information you have from the problem itself is important because then you can know which ones to plug into which correct equations to get what answers you want. Now, for the first part of the problem, the velocity of the arrow just before it hits the target, you have to find the velocity by using what you have. So in this case, I used uh, velocity equals v naught plus acceleration times time. Now you know velo uh, v naught, which is 40 meters per second, as you see on your left, and acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared because, as I said before, acceleration is downward while velocity is upward, and the time is three seconds on the left again. Using some simple calculations with your calculator, you can find out that it's 40 meters per second plus a negative 29.4 meters per second. You have to make sure you put units in your problem too to make sure that your units are correct. You can't add meters with seconds. Sometimes units actually save you. Now the second part of the problem is asking um, is how high the target is located. Now height would be x. So I used x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. x naught is zero because it starts from ground. Then you plug in what was originally, uh, the, all the information that was originally given. v naught is 40 meters per second, time is uh, three seconds, um, plus one half, Acceleration is 9.8 meters per second downward again, so it's negative. And then time is 3 seconds once again. And don't forget to square it, just because you think, uh, you have to make sure you reference back to the equation, because I've had a lot of times when I didn't look back at the equation and thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. All right, so after you do calculations, it becomes 120 meters plus a negative 44.1 meters. After adding the two together, you get 75.9 meters. And that's how you do this problem.